Welcome to tutorialsinhand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to use modulus operator in Java. And these modulus operator will later be helpful in writing the programs like finding odd even. So let's proceed to Eclipse. So by now, I expect that you must be knowing how to use this scanner. And if you are not aware about how to use a scanner, to accept the input from user then you must visit the previous video tutorial and the link would be in the description section so please visit that and then come to this video tutorial so that you have a better understanding and if you know these things then it's well and good so let's proceed so we have taken two integer variables num1 and num2 and now we will be applying modulus operator the result of the modulus operation would be stored in the result variable so this is the symbol of modulus operator that is percentage so what we are doing is we are performing modulus operator on num1 by num2 so what exactly happens when you do this suppose the first number num1 is having value 10 and you apply modulus operator on it by num2 and num2's value may be 2. So what happens here is you must understand that when you are dividing 10 by 2, so 2 into 5 is equals to 10, right? So what is the remainder over here? We are getting the remainder over here as 0. So, so the remainder is 0. This is the result that this modulus operation would return and which will be stored in this result variable. If we take the second variable num2's value as 3, then what happens is we have 3 into 3 is equals to 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Then what is the remainder? 9 plus 1 will be 10. So 1 is the remainder over here. So this time the value of result would be 1. So this modulus operator is actually used to return the remainder that would be left on dividing a number by the other number. So this is where you can use this to find out whether a number is odd or even. So if a number is divisible by 2, that means if a number on dividing by 2 returns the remainder as 0, that means it is even number. And if the number on dividing by 2 returns any value which is other than 0, that means it is odd number. So that indicates that 9 is odd number and previously we had written 10. So that was even number because it returns the remainder as 0. But we will check this odd and even thing in other video tutorial for now. Just understand that this modulus operator is actually used to return the remainder. That means whatever is left on dividing a number by other number uh, let's say this by executing the program save it and okay so other thing is we must also print the result otherwise we will not be able to see anything on the console the result would only be stored in the memory that means uh, it would be stored in the result variable in the memory but it will not print the results but to be able to see the result and understand whether it has calculated the correct value we should be able to see the result right so let's now print the result now if we execute this program it would ask for two numbers that is enter first number so let's enter first number that is 10 and let's enter second number as 2 and then what will happen is when 10 is divided by 2 that means 2 into 5 is equals to 10 so 2 times 5 will be 10 that means it will leave remainder as 0 so the output over here will be result is 0 isn't it let's execute it again and give some other value like suppose I am giving 33 the first value that is num1 let's read another value that is num2 so let's give num2 as 9 so what happens over here is if you perform modulus operation like 33 mod 9 so what is going to happen is 9 into 3 times is equals to 27 right and then you have a remainder as so what you will add to 27 will be 33 it will be 27 plus 6 is equals to 33 so this is the 
remainder value and it will be the result of this modulus operation performed on 33 mod 9. So let's uh, see this. So this is the value result is 6 is the exact value when 33 mod 9 is calculated. So result is 6. Similarly you can perform any number of modulus operations by taking any integer value or double value or whatever value you want. You can just simply use this template to calculate modulus on any numbers and at the same time I expect that you will be able to write program to find out odd and even after seeing this program and if you are not able to write not an issue we will discuss that also in upcoming video tutorials so stay tuned thanks for watching the video till the end please like and subscribe our channel to help us motivate